All right, let's hop right into the intro here. We're going to do a couple of things right now. The first one is you're going to head on over to your Kajabi account. So well, actually, let me show you the website first. On the library page, your My Courses page, whatever you're choosing to call it, all right, you'll notice that the I added the rest of the courses. So you'll notice that the courses are laid out in the order that you create them. There's a bunch of different ways to sort these things. And this template, again, isn't going to show after today in our actual membership levels that we create. This is just because we're in the admin. See how it says you are currently in preview mode? This is because I, the admin, when you are looking at a preview, you can see every product. So what I like to do is if you go back into Kajabi and you click on your products, all right, there's this button right here that says library sorting. You can sort it here too, but this is just for this page. If you click on this button right here, that says library sorting. You can put these in whatever order you want. So I like to put the template at the bottom just so I can see what the library page is actually going to look like. And then I know just that last one is not going to be there. So once we sort it like this, if you go back and refresh the screen, you notice that this is actually what it's going to look like. So it's going to go first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, and then this won't just won't be there at all. Okay. So you, and again, you don't have to create them in the order that you're going to put them on this page. So my point was, if you create your third grade curriculum first or whatever it is, it'll pop up up here and then it'll get pushed down as you create them. That's fine because you can just go back in here and resort them in whatever order you want. That's the first thing I wanted to show you. Okay, now before we actually start working inside of Thrivecart and setting that all up, we have to do some things in Kajabi. And this is kind of going to seem a little bit weird because what we're going to do is we're going to actually create what are called offers inside Kajabi. And when we create these offers, what these offers do is they connect the sale inside of Kajabi to the membership level that they have access to. So what the, all these are going to do is control what courses of yours, what products of yours, what curriculums of yours, your members have access to based off of what levels they choose for their membership level. Okay, so you can have a monthly, a quarterly, an annual membership. Or you could have a monthly first grade membership, a monthly second grade membership, a monthly third grade membership, and so on. You could set this up literally however you want, okay? I'm gonna show you how I do it for mine because I sell full curriculum. So I'm gonna show you what I do, and then I'll give you kind of a couple other ways, and then we'll head over into Thrivecart. All right, and before we create our first product offer, click on settings, and then you're gonna go to payment integrations, and you are going to connect your Stripe account, just like you did when we set up Thrivecart. The process is exactly the same. So if you want to go rewatch that video to see what you did, go ahead. That was in day one. And once you are done setting up your Stripe account in here, you do not need to set up PayPal. Just set up Stripe because we're not actually going to be using this. It's going to be linked to Kajabi, but we're actually going to use the connection through Thrivecart. Okay, so why do we have to hook Stripe to Kajabi if we're not taking payments through Kajabi? Because when you create your offer, which is what controls your membership levels, Kajabi wants to make sure that it's either paid or free. For them to protect it with a paywall, you have to mark it as paid. If you put it as free, all the customer would have to do is type in their email. So really, this is just like a dummy method that we're using inside of Kajabi so that we can use Thrivecart as our actual shopping cart and then connect the two via other methods, which we'll get into in a little bit. Sounds confusing, it's not. Just go through, set all this up, connect it to the same Thr Stripe account that you already made. Okay, so you'll log into Stripe, you'll, they'll send you a verification code, you'll fill in like your name, your address, like the same exact pages that you filled out in Thrivecart. You don't have to do both of these. O I would only do Stripe because it's easier to work with, so let's hit Stripe. We're going to log into our Stripe account. All right, so type in your Stripe email that we created. Type in your password. It'll ask you for a phone number to send a text for code. Type in your code. Your account is secured. Okay, write down this emergency backup code and store it somewhere safe. Okay, so you want to store this code, copy the code, download the code. I'm just going to download it to my computer. Then you're going to hit next. Then fill out all this extra information. And then you're just going to continue to verify your account. Just keep filling all this out.
All right, and then when you're all done, hit agree and submit. So the, that whole process should have been just like it was when we set up your Thrivecart account. It'll redirect you back to Kajabi. All right, and then once you're done, come back here, and then we're going to click on sales. Click on uh, get started. Offer title. If I were you, I would start with one membership level, and I would just call it your full access membership, whatever you want to call it. So we let's just call this full access monthly membership. All right. Now you might want to put full access, you can math monthly membership, whatever. I'm just writing it like this. So it's easy for us to see as we're going through this, how to understand it. Okay. So the products in this offer, this is where you choose your levels. If I'm only creating a first grade level, I would only choose first grade here. Since I'm creating full access, I want whoever signs up for this membership level this offer, what is what they call it. See, offer. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm giving them full access to all of my products in a monthly membership. They should all populate here. Make sure when you do your full access one, you don't accidentally pick the product template. And then hit continue. All right, now you see it says paid or free. We're going to pick paid. We don't want it to be a one-time. We're going to make it a subscription. And we're going to make this match what we would actually do, what we're actually going to do inside Thrivecart. So just for the sake of this training, let's put in $49 a month. And we're going to connect it to Stripe. Hit save and finish. And that is it. We are done. You can add your image here. So if you create an image for your monthly membership, you would add it here. You don't have to do that. You can in case somebody finds the checkout page accidentally somewhere on the internet because that's the way the internet works sometimes. Uh, you can. So I would just add an image that is like your normal image that you're using for everything else. So probably just use... the one like this that we made saying, you know, the membership. Okay. If you're only giving access to like first grade, for example, use your first grade image, obviously. Check all this, no trial, no setup fee, but we're not doing this inside of Kajabi. We're going to do this inside of Thrivecart. So literally just ignore this whole section. We're not using this for anything. Let's go to save we don't need to do upsells. We're doing all that in Thrivecart. Uh, the settings should already be set. Okay, so send customers to a third-party email provider. That is absolutely what we want to do. And we are going to do this inside of Active Campaign after we're done. Okay, so disregard all this for now. go back to details and we are done. That's all you have to do to set up your membership level. So now what you're going to do is decide what are your membership levels going to be. All right. And then we're going to go back and set those up one at a time. So because this doesn't take very long, let's go back and set up another one just so you can have options. So click on offers, click on new offer, name it. So let's say we were doing a first grade you can math club annual membership, okay? So I'm going to give them the first grade only, and it's going to be on an annual plan, okay? So if I'm going first grade only on an annual plan, I'm going to type first grade. And then if you do have a forum or something where you created a community inside Kajabi, which... That's a whole other level that you don't need right now to get started. But once you get to the point where you have forums and people are communicating inside your membership, which is something that I would recommend once you're done with this course and start selling your membership and you have members in there, okay, give them a place to talk to each other, but set all that stuff up later. Right now we're trying to get to the point where you can sell your membership. Uh, products in this offer, the only one we want in there is first grade and we hit continue. It's paid. It's a subscription. We want the price to be, let's just say $4.97 every one 
year. Through stripe, save and finish. Done. We're done with the second one. You can put the image in if you want. Save. Go back to your offers page. And now you can see we have multiple offers. All right, so now let's talk about the good stuff. Before we go into Thrivecart and set all these membership levels up, you want to set them up in Kajabi first. So let's decide what the most important things are for you right now. You are just starting a business. If you set this thing up so that you have a million membership levels right off the bat, it's going to get stressful in the beginning because remember, you're still learning how to use some of these technologies. I would personally do a full access membership first. So call it whatever you want. You don't have to call it a full access membership. Maybe you just call it the You Can Math Club membership for right now or full access You Can Math membership, whatever you want to call it. I would do a monthly plan and an annual plan, and that is it to start. And we'll talk about why in some of the later videos in this course, some of the later days. But the main reason is to keep everything simple for you in the beginning so you can manage this whole business by yourself without breaking things and getting confused while you're learning how to use these softwares. Now, once you're comfortable with everything and you got some members in there and you're feeling confident, yeah, go ahead and add membership levels. So for example, if you only offered a full access membership and let's just say you were charging uh, $49 a month, like we said, for the first 50 members that you got. Then you can run a sale that says, we are adding membership levels to our membership. The full access pass price is going to go up. And you're, you explain to them, we are going to have a membership level for each grade level for those of you that only teach one grade level, okay? So we are going to have a first grade, a second grade, a third grade, and you explain that to them. And then and this is like your sale for this, okay? And then you have, you charge, maybe you charge $19.97 per grade level per month. And then we'll have upsells and downsells where they can add in $10 extra a month. So they'll get 50% off on the next one if they choose to do $10 more a month and get the second grade also. Ten, then you'll do another one, $10 and get to third grade, $10 to get to fourth grade, $10 to get to fifth grade. Or you could have options on your pricings page. On the checkout page inside of Thrivecart, we could have a first grade level, a second grade level, a third grade level, and a fourth grade level. And each of those could be $19.97. And maybe you offer a full access membership on that same page for $49.97. So, okay, so if they teach multiple multiple grade levels or multiple classes or multiple whatever like if they che teach geometry algebra 2 algebra 1 and pre-calculus and they they need all those courses you're going to give them the ability to do that and give them a 50 percent discount let's just say they find you through a geometry lesson right some amazing way that you teach the pythagorean theorem and you give this aw awesome activity and they decide they want to join and get your full curriculum for geometry they go to the checkout page they see oh he also sells a membership for Algebra 2, for Geometry, for Pre-Calc, for Algebra 1, for Middle School Math. Well, I teach all those things, right? And maybe let's just say they teach four of those things. If you're charging $19.97 for just Geometry, but then I can get four different curriculums for half of what it would cost me to join all four memberships, meaning $19.97, $19.97, $19.97, $19.97, and I can only pay maybe $47 a month for that. Which one are you going to choose if you teach all four of those courses? My most purchased membership in all of my companies is the full access membership. And you can set it up in quite a few different ways. So that's one way. You could have on the actual checkout page, which I'm going to show you today, on the actual checkout page, you could have different membership levels of just let's use this you can math example first grade second grade third grade fourth grade at a certain price maybe those are each 49 dollars a month because they're full curriculum and like 
teachers do nothing other than show up five minutes before class, upload the resources to Google Classroom, and then they're graded and they're done, and you just save them eight hours a day of grading papers and everything else, like right? So it depends on what kind of value you're bringing, but if you're charging $49 a month for each of those, and then they see they could have four different science curriculums or five or six or seven different science curriculums because they're in a small school and they teach a bunch of these classes, A, their school will probably pay for it, and B, they'll be happy to pay 97 for all of them instead of 47 for one of them, right? Because the value is just crazy, okay? So the more value you can create with your funnel th through to your checkout process, the more likely they are to pick the no-brainer option, which in that case, 97 for all curriculums or 47 for one, it's a no-brainer to pick all of them, right? Because of the value. Another way to do it, which I explained to you in a different day before I, we, we talked about it, you could also have your checkout page with only one price option, but then you have, once they pay their $49 and then they go to the upsell page, you can make them an offer for $10 more a month, they'll get another curriculum or another thing or whatever your products are. Then you can have another $10 a month to add this bonus, another $10 a month to add this bonus. Well, where did I get that method of selling? Okay, how many of you guys have Hulu? Hulu, when you join Hulu, you log in, and then you go to watch your favorite TV show. Yellowstone's all the rage right now, right? Well, the problem is, if you don't have Paramount, their spinoff, whatever it is, the new 1923 one, right? Well, we want to watch it, and there's, they say, well, you're going to have to pay $9.99 a month for a Paramount membership, too. Oh, you want to add Disney Plus? That's another $9.97. Oh, you want to add HBO Max? Another $9.97. All right? So the way they do business is they get you in the door... And then they have all these upsells for extra things that they know that you're going to want and need. So it's, same, it's the same kind of concept here. I didn't know that I needed Paramount until I was inside of my Hulu plan. And I wanted to watch a show that was on Paramount. So I upgraded. And then I find all these new shows that I like on Paramount, right? Bunches of them. So am I going to get rid of my Paramount subscription after I watch that one show that I wanted to watch? No, I'm going to keep it because there are other shows on there that I want to watch. So the value that they gave me was worth my nine extra dollars a month. That's what you have to do here. You have to give them, let the, with this method that I'm talking about, you let them purchase your first, uh, membership to your first grade curriculum. And then you show them for $10 extra a month, for $9.99 extra a month, you'll give them second grade as well. That seems like a no-brainer. If I can pay $9 more when one to buy solo, so one membership is $49 or $47, and I can add a whole other curriculum for nine more dollars, I am going to do that every time because it's going to make my life easier. The value there is absolutely insane. I am paying one quarter of the price of what I would pay to get memberships to both of these separately. So you need to think through some of those things when you're setting this stuff up today. All right, now with all that said, which that was a lot, this is definitely the longest intro lesson I've done in this whole course, okay? But it needed to be said because you gotta, I wanted to make sure you had ideas as to how you wanted to offer this to your members right now because right now we're gonna go into lesson one and actually create these membership levels and the checkout page for these membership levels. So all of this stuff is happening right now. It's important to think through these things before you just start doing stuff. Because if you just do stuff, you can always fix it, yes. But you don't want to have to do things over and over again and keep changing things because that's just going to cost you time that you're not selling your membership. Remember, we want to get this done in 30 days. That's our goal. Okay, So let's, let's make sure we get this done in 30 days. And to do that, you need to make sure you're organized. So my advice right now would be pick one of those two options I gave you to lay out your membership levels. Again, the first one, you put all of your membership levels on the actual checkout page. So each of them are $49 a month or whatever it is. 
you can get them all for $97 a month. Or you have, you can only purchase this one at $49 a month. And then on the upsell page, you can add another one for nine more dollars a month, 10 more dollars a month, whatever it is. I use 10. You go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. In the end, the prices will be the same, but they're two completely different ways of selling things. Okay, so how would I determine which one to use? If you're doing math, I would say go with the adding the extra $10 because most, most math teachers teach multiple content areas, meaning they teach algebra, geometry, algebra two, like they teach multiple classes, right? That's not the case in every subject level, okay? So if your subject level isn't one where they teach multiple things and you're only selling, you know, elementary English resources, then you're going to have to find a different way to do that. And the way you do that is by just having all of your membership level options on your actual checkout page. So maybe you have a level where they get the English curriculum, but if they want all the English projects that come with that curriculum, that's a different membership level that costs a little bit more. And maybe they, maybe you want, maybe you have something else that's like a video, uh, video courses that like the kids can rewatch when they go home or whatever. Maybe that's a separate course where you have everything done in video, teaching the lessons for the day. There's different ways to lay these things out. All right. Now, with all that, again, I know this was a lot for an intro lesson, but we had to go through this because now we're going to actually implement these things. So let's head on over to lesson one and start setting up our membership levels inside of Thrivecart.